finally I get to see a movie early. Thirty minutes or less. Thirty minutes or less follows the story of Jesse Eisenberg's character, who is basically a slacker who just doesn't care about his job or what he does in life or anything like that. He's a pizza delivery boy, so he goes to deliver a pizza one night, and and Danny McBride and Nick Swardson wear monkey outfits and masks and everything. They take him hostage and they strap a bomb to his chest that will explode if he doesn't rob a bank in the next 10 hours or 9 hours. So he gets his friend Aziz as 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 uh, to help him rob the bank and then shenanigans ensue and all this fun stuff that happens. I wasn't looking forward to this movie because I didn't like the premise at all because it was based on a true story and the guy died so I was kinda wondering why someone would I turn that into a comedy like I'm trying to still I'm still trying to fathom in my head who would go in their head some guy died this is a great idea to make it funny like I just don't see that but let's get past that the movie is directed by the guy who made Zombieland and he is a very very good director Zombieland was one of my favorite movies of 2009 and this movie it is very very funny I will say that Jesse Eisenberg is very funny, Aziz is very funny, and I usually find him annoying, so that was a plus that he was actually likable in this movie. Danny McBride is funny, <laughs> Nick Swardson's funny, even the assassin they hire is funny. The movie's only 80 minutes, so when you're watching it's almost like non-stop laughs. It's not completely there, but it's short enough to feel like that you're not wasting your time in the middle of the movie, that it just keeps going and going with the jokes and you keep laughing and you keep having a good time and that's what you want out of a movie. Everybody was funny but there are two problems I had with the movie, just two of them. It was the ending. The ending was so abrupt. <laughs> it just, something happens and literally it just stops. I was very surprised that that was the end because it was just, it was going, it was going, it was going, there was another joke and then BAM! That was it. It was just weird to me. I didn't understand it. Halfway through, the movie switches villains, and... I don't know, it just, like, does a 180 on itself. Then different characters, you're supposed to feel for them when you didn't before, and now you don't feel for certain characters. It's just... it's a jumbly mess there. 30 Minutes or Less is a very funny movie. It does have a few problems here and there, but you get past them, because it's a funny movie that you can enjoy for 80 minutes. Nothing too long, nothing that's... Two hours. No comedy should be two hours. Thirty minutes or less gets a large popcorn because it does make me. It did make me laugh, but it was not anywhere near as good as Zombieland. I can't really ask what you guys thought of Thirty Minutes or Less. What do you think? What are your thoughts going into Thirty Minutes or Less? Are you gonna see it, or are you gonna wait for Netflix, or are you just not gonna see it at all? Write your nice little thoughts in the beautiful box down there. And if you like this video, hit that subscribe button up there. Because if you don't, I will play metal music during every video I make. Thank <laughs> you.